The Boston Celtics, led by Jason Tatum, travel to Miami to take on Jimmy Butler and the Heat. It's game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, and my best bets are on the way. Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot. We got a player prop. We got a spread lean, and we got a same game parlay coming right up for you guys. If you are new to the Calling Our Shot channel, thank you for tuning into today's daily video. If you want to hit that subscribe button down below, I certainly would appreciate it. Now, let's recap yesterday, or technically Sunday, since we did not have any games on them on Monday in the NBA. It was a one-in-one -one day. Marcus Smart, we had under six and a half assists. He almost hit that over in the first half at six assists, ending with 10. Maxi Kleber, of course, gets it done for us, going under six and a half rebounds. Not a great game of game sevens. Both Mavs blowing out the Suns and the, the Bucks getting blown out by the Celtics. But either way, let's close out the NBA season hot and let's take it into the Eastern Conference Finals. Again, if you haven't subscribed, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys again for 33,000 subscribers. Also, drop a like on the video, comment down below your best bet. I'm curious what you guys are playing out there. Now let's hop into it. First off, I gotta say, shout out to all our COS All-Stars out there. If you wanna support the channel, just even more besides hitting that subscribe button and that like button, you can become a COS All-Star, click the join button on the channel or the link in the description. We certainly would appreciate our newest All-Stars. We got John Brando, appreciate you for always showing your support on the videos. We got Aditya, welcome back. Bernardo, welcome back as well. We got Aaron Thompson, and we got Gotta Get the Bad, becoming an all-star. We appreciate him always commenting on the videos. You are the real MVPs. Thank you guys all for supporting the channel. No more sponsorships, no more prize picks, no more of that. Let's get into my favorite bet of the day. Jason Tatum, we're taking this under 28 and a half points, minus 115 on points bet. Now, as I was doing my analysis for this one, I saw this line's kind of starting to change. We I might see this line go to 27 and a half, but I really like it at 28 and a half. Wouldn't be too concerned if it does go down to 27 and a half. I still would play it there. Now, before all the Celtics stands, get into my comments. Austin Tatum's the best player in the NBA. Look, I understand. Tatum's great. But look, scoring 29 points against one of the best defenses in the NBA, no easy task. And it's gonna be, he's going to have a lot on his hands against the Miami Heat. Like I said, one of the best defenses in the league. Now, in that seven-game series versus Milwaukee, Tatum did go over this line in four of them. Now, we have to think, three of those games, he attempted 24 or more field goal attempts. Look, Tatum's going to come out here and shoot 25-plus times. I might be able to live with this L because I just don't see that happening. The Heat are going to throw way too many bodies at him, and he's not the guy that we normally see taking all those contested shots over a lot of people. This year, he's turned into more of a passer. We've seen his assists per game go up all season long. Now, in the regular season, we think back to that Bucks team. Obviously, they were without Drew, Drew, Hall, or Drew not Chris Middleton, but obviously they played at the seventh fastest pace in the NBA regular season. Obviously they went down a little bit in the postseason, but we look at Miami Heat, play at the second fewest pace. They were super slow, second slowest team in the league. And we look at the Bucks defensive rating in the first in the last round, 112.3. Miami's just 105. Obviously, Miami is a better defensive team than the Milwaukee Bucks. The numbers prove it. Now, in Tatum's last three games against the Miami Heat, 10, 20, and 23 points going under in all three of those games. A couple of those were blowouts, and I'll give you my spread lean a, or a little bit later on in the video, but I believe we're going to see Jason Tatum guarded by either P.J. Tucker, Jamie Butler, probably all the guys on the Miami Heat. They're going to want someone else to beat him in this game, and look, Tatum's played the Heat 21 times in this young career. What is he, still 19 years old? That's the joke on, this, on the block, but look, he's averaged 22 point, points per game in those 21 matchups since 2020, because I want to get rid of those early years in Tatum's career, where he wasn't playing, you know, or shooting as many times as he will today. Still, since 2020, Tatum played them 14 times, under in 10 of those 14, averaging 24.5 points per game. Tatum never hit this over in his career in Miami, a perfect 0 for 10, or 10 for 10 on the under, if you want to count it. He scored 25 or less points in Eight of those matchups so and a lot of those were coming in the regular season you got to keep that in mind in the 2020 playoffs Celtics played the heat they well they played the heat in that series Tatum scored 30 21 25 28 31 and 24 points so going over in two of the six games but he did rebound the ball very well you hear about that more in a second but look let's wrap it all into things Miami Heat know Jason Tatum's their number one scorer Going to throw a lot of bodies at him in game one maybe we see Tatum score more in game two they're going to make other role players beat them Guys like Grant Williams, although I don't see Grant Williams knocking down seven threes, a bunch of them wide open like he did in game seven. Those guys are going to have to beat him, not a guy like Jason Tatum. It's also my last note, since 2020, he averaged 28.9 points per game at home, averaged only 25.8, I say only in quotation marks, 25.8 points per game on the road, both with 20 plus field goal attempts per game. Look, I think Tatum's going under today, taking his under 28 and a half points, it blows up in my face, I'm fine with it, I'm laying a unit on it, Jason Tatum, under 28 and a half points, minus 115 on points bet. Now, let's get into my game pick for this one, we'll talk about another player prop lean in a second, and this is still a lean for this game, I think the Heat win this game one. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be riding with Boston after that big triumphant victory in Game 7. Clap it up to them. They beat the reigning champs. They, they deserved it. And while they didn't have Chris Middleton, still 
Took seven games to beat the Milwaukee Bucks, a very good team, obviously. They wouldn't have been the reigning champs if they weren't a very good team. Now, I think that seven-game series is going to take a beating on this team. I mean, it, it takes a lot on the body to get pummeled by Giannis nonstop. We saw all these Celtics players, if every single one of them at least hit the ground at least once, twice, three times in that series, maybe even more per game. Marcus Smart was hitting the ground 15 times per second. Now, I just think the Heat come out here and they're at home playing with the crowd. I think they're everyone's back counting against them. And that's something that Jimmy Butler's always thrived on. People counting against him in the playoffs. I think they show up in game one led by guys like Jimmy Butler, led by guys like Max Struess. All these guys that can knock down some threes a little bit more consistently than the Bucks three-point shooters can. And while, sure, they don't have a Giannis Antetokounmpo, they have a lot more guys that can actually score. You know, they don't just have Drew and Giannis relying on them for 70% of their scoring. They got Jimmy Butler, obviously. They got Tyler Hero playing well off the bench. Bam Adebayo will get his. Victor Oladipo quietly coming to his own. Kyle Lowry will not be there, but Gabe Vincent can pick up for that. I think the Heat win this one, but an interesting bet that I think you guys should maybe consider is the bet on FanDuel. Miami to win game one, but Boston to win the series. Plus 250 on FanDuel. I think it's a decent value bet. I Like I said, I think Miami comes out here, wins this game one, but I think they lose the series. I think maybe we see the Celtics take you know, a game off. They just played, a, what, a day and a half, two days ago against that Bucks team. I think they're going to be a little bit lazy in this one. It's on the road, traveling to Miami. I just think they come out a little bit slow in this one. We've seen the Boston really lay up big eggs in Miami before against the same Heat team. I think that happens in game one, and we see Boston potentially lose this one, but potentially probably win the series maybe in six or seven games. Should be a lot of good games in this one, a lot of low-scoring games. If I had to predict what is the over under like 204 points, I think the Heat take this one. Now, let's without further ado, let's do one lane before we get into same game parlay. I like Jason Tatum over six and a half rebounds, plus 110 on FanDuel. Now, you know, what I hate giving you guys a lean on a guy I already made my official play, but I think Tatum's gonna have a good rebounding game. You look at his stats against the, the boss or against the Miami Heat, very good rebounding numbers. He had hit this, he had six plus rebounds in four straight versus Milwaukee. In his last four games against the Heat, five, 12, eight, and eight rebounds. Like I talked about when we took Jason Tatum's under in rebounds or under in points, 28 and a half. I think he's going to be guarded by P.J. Tucker in this one. And likewise, I think he's going to guard P.J. Tucker, which is probably pretty good news for him because that means P.J.'s just camping out in the corner, waiting for the ball to come his way. And we're just going to see you know, him just sitting there kind of waiting for the ball, waiting for the rebounds because P.J. Tucker is not going to shoot more than five shots on my, on Tuesday night. And so I think we'll see Jason Tatum potentially pile up the rebounds. Also important, you know, Bam Adebayo is going to be involved in the offense, taking Al Horford away from the ball, for, away from the rim. Also, we're going to look at Robert Williams. Don't necessarily know if he's playing. Not too concerned about it. I think Tatum over six and a half rebounds might be when we target. Maybe in the next game, I want to see exactly how this one plays out. I think he could potentially get eight plus rebounds today. But I like the Jason Tatum over six and a half rebounds at plus value. It's a lean right now. My only official play for this game is Jason Tatum under 28 and a half points. Now, while you guys are here, same game parlay time, five legs, plus 250 odds, and here's what I cooked up. We got Jimmy Butler, 20 plus points. We got Adebayo, 10 plus points. Max Struess, two plus threes. Tatum, six plus rebounds. And Smart, four plus assists. Let's talk about each leg. I know it's plus 250 odds, but I really like it here. Now, t Butler, 20 plus points. Look, if he ain't scoring, I don't know who is for the Miami Heat, and I think he gets it done. He's had 20 plus in eight of his last nine games versus Boston. Should shoot a bunch. The only miss that he had in those games against Boston, he only played like 17 minutes. I believe he got injured in that game. I think Butler can get it done. Now, Adebayo, look, I'm not the biggest fan of Adebayo in terms of scoring the Rock. He does a lot more for that team than scoring the basketball, but 10 plus points, not asking for a whole lot. He's hit this in eight of his last nine and with 10 plus points in the playoffs, 10 plus points in eight straight games versus Boston. He should be able to get us those 10 plus points. Max Drews, two plus threes. I've taken his under in the postseason, but I'm not taking it here. Without Kyle Lowry, this guy's going to shoot a lot of threes. Last two games against the Celtics, four and nine three-pointers against the Celtics. Maybe he has a big game. Also have to be worth noting, Boston did wave Max Drews earlier on in his NBA career. Maybe he's coming back for a little bit of vengeance in this playoff series. Maybe we see Max Drew step up. Two plus threes, not asking for a lot. And we look at Tatum, six plus rebounds. Already talked about that. I like it. He hit that, obviously, in four straight versus Milwaukee and three of his last four easily versus the Miami or first Miami Heat. And then Marcus Smart, four plus assists. Now, will Marcus Smart play? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. He left that game. Well, he did not leave the game, but he was questionable to return, and he's questionable to play on Tuesday night. But I think he could still get it done. He's had seven and eight assists his last two games versus Miami. Obviously, if you look at his game logs all time against Miami, not great, but his, obviously his role has changed a lot this season than a previous season when he was more shooting the ball, playing a lot more off ball. This year, he's playing a little bit more on ball. And while four assists might be a lot to get up against this Miami Heat defense, still do think he can get it done. He got it done in game seven. Hopefully he doesn't wrong us in this one. I think he can get that done. So that's my same game parlay. I'll put all the legs obviously up on the screen to the left, plus 250 odds. Let's ride with that. My only official play, we're riding Jason Tatum under 28 and a half points. 
Let me know what your guys' favorite bets are down below. If you want to use our prize pistol links, use those links down below. Appreciate you guys as always for supporting the channel. See you guys again tomorrow for game one of the Mavericks vs. Warrior series, what it will be a doozy. Appreciate you guys as always. It's been Austin. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.